Uh, uh, the uh, chair moves for adjournment. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all. Item 11. I'm sorry. What? Item 11. Oh, you're right. Public comments. Public comments. Are we back on the record? Um, we, uh, well, Mr. Chair, I move, I move that we go back on the record. Second. <laughs> All favor? Aye. Aye. My apologies. Uh, yeah, there was a little bit of that problem last time I was here. I believe you uh, asked the city attorney to. Uh, do your resolution uh, off the record that you talked about earlier today. But anyway, no, please, none, please, none, nonetheless, please, please, nonetheless, please. nonetheless, nonetheless, um, yes, um, my name is Charles Arison, and uh, I'm uh, basically a photojournalist citizen, and I uh, do records uh, investigations and different types of things. Um, the independent hearing officers I've been trying to film their meetings and I've been locked out. And I believe that these meetings are subject to the Open Meetings Act. And therefore, uh, I've filed a complaint with the Attorney General's office. Now, I've done some other investigating <coughs> and I've discovered that in 2012, September of 2012, the City Council saw fit to, to make the hearing officers truly independent and they uh, established a city uh, ordinance in September of 2012. Uh, slightly thereafter, I believe it was in October of 2012, the city administration had gone through a uh, request for proposal. They submitted an executive committee uh, summary, whatever you want to call it, to the city council and the city council uh, voted and accepted the four hearing officers that you currently have to a two-year contract. Um, that contract ended in October. Now, in February of 2014, October of last year, 2014, in February of 2014, without going back to the city council, which is written into the ordinance, for retention, the administration gave those four hearing officers a six-month extension until the end of last month. So the last six months that these hearing officers have been operating is in question as to if they were truly legally under contract without approval of the city council, which is written into the ordinance, which is, I believe, law. Now, today we have hearing officers who are not under contract scheduled to have hearings by the city clerk's office. I believe uh, Mr. Harada is the, is the administrator of hearings. And like I said, these, these, these four hearing officers have no contracts. There has been no uh, generation of a request for proposal or a, yeah. There has been no uh, executive committee write-up to send to the city council for their consideration, and there has been no sign-off by the president of the city council or the city clerk of new contracts for these four hearing officers. Now, I have asked over and over again for this information, and I've been told it doesn't exist, and that the request for proposal is currently in the I believe finance department, not finance, uh, purchasing, purchasing department. So the request for proposal hasn't even gone out to bid. <coughs> Yet we have hearing officers being scheduled to have hearings. As a matter of fact, one is scheduled tomorrow, for tomorrow and, this, and Friday. So I don't know if you all are aware of this, what's going on. But there's some serious, serious issues here, and uh, nobody seems to want to talk about it. Um, the city council's well aware of it, and my understanding is they're looking into it. But uh, I don't know if they've spoken with you all about it or not. But there's some serious, serious issues going on here. Now, uh, the other thing is, uh, I believe, Mr. Holland. Correct. Um, 
you just spoke about a case that was heard before hearing officer Bingham and you all accepted some of his recommendations in that case am I correct it, yeah it's, it's on the record correct we did correct so if you accepted recommendations from a hearing officer those hearings are subject to the Open Meetings Act and I get to walk in them and I get the video record. End of story. So I would suggest that you start talking to some people and you get this squared out, squared away. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Any other public comments? <coughs> now, Chair Mr. Second. In favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned.